Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities, and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I too found what Juyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So, I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now all tangles untied, all glare tempered, all dust smoothed. It is like a deep pool that never dries. How true! I've come to understand this line more. I promise not to use my forte in the battle, but Juyan still couldn't take a single blow from me. After his defeat, Juyan seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. He was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Us running into Master Tian Xing was a one off incident. If the Mangostine indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something, Rover? I think... So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the Magazine's route of transportation? The Quartermaster said the Magazines are transported by boat from the south. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet. But I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. I hope they're okay.
fight back. Tell truth from the sun. Retreat to advance. Tell truth from the sun. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discord. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. But I didn't hear anything or sense any frequencies. According to Baije, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village in the Central Plains. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the 